Hey, happy Memorial Day. This is Justin J. Lowe Hagen. Uh, this is the J. Lowe Down blog. I'm very, very happy that you've tuned in today to hear my comments on all the news that's fit to muse. Well, now, first of all, I have to warn you that this blog will be very short. I am exhausted. It's been a very long day, and I start my internship tomorrow over at Light98, which I'm really, really, really excited about because I get to work with Kat Simons, and she's really, really cool and down-to-earth and so kind and nice. So, this is going to be a little bit of an abbreviated blog today. Um, but I didn't do one yesterday because I was tired, and I figured I could get away with not doing one on the weekends, so... But I'm happy that you've tuned in. Um, I want to say a very happy Memorial Day to everybody, all of our veterans and all of our troops. Uh, thank you for making it very possible for me to do this video blog and for people to tune in and for me to live my life openly and happily in this great country of ours. So I would like to thank all troops for that. If you'll excuse me. Oh, my nose is stuffed up. Okay, so... Some of the hot topics today. Uh, President Obama went to Arlington Cemetery on this Memorial Day to honor some of the fallen soldiers. I think this is a great uh, thing for our president. I think this is uh, quite commendable of him. Um, he seems to be taking a very active role, as well as his wife, in military families and respecting the um, all that they do for this country. So... And he's also named some of his uh, new people who he's going to work with. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to find it. He named uh, the new Joint Chiefs of Staff uh, General Martin Dempsey. And he's going to replace the old Joint Chiefs of Staff. And he also named... He said it's going to replace U.S. Navy Admiral Mike Mullen, who's come under fire for some of his decisions as Joint Chiefs of Staff. So, again, runny nose, so I apologize. Ah! In addition, I just want to say that I am outraged. There's an article on CNN talking about how there were Egyptian uh, women who were required to go through, quote-unquote, virginity checks after they were protesting Hosni Mubarak's overthrowing over in Egypt. As a as a citizen of the world, I am quite offended by this, and I really think that the United States needs to take an active approach into human rights all across the United States, because the things that these women would have to do go uh have to, had to go through is something that no woman should have to go through. So my thoughts and prayers are with them. And I think Egypt should receive harsh, harsh sanctions due to this and try those who conducted or ordered the virginity checks. I think it's absolutely disgusting. And I also want to say that I am quite sorry to hear that Christopher Knight, Peter Brady, and Adrian Curry, who was the season one winner of America's Next Top Model, um have split up. They were together for five years and met on the reality show This Real Life, and as a personal fan of reality TV, I'm very upset to hear that they have split up. So my thoughts and prayers are with them. And that's all for me today. Thank you for tuning in to the J-Lo Down. Be sure to tune in tomorrow, where I will have brand new discussion of brand new hot topics. Just a reminder to tune in to the J-Lo Down Wednesdays from 7 to 8 p.m. on WBCW.org. Happy Memorial Day, everyone.